Okay, so this is go with me. I'll just get the plot out of the way really fast. Right? <laughs> I really want to talk about this one. Okay, uh, so this is an episode where Jake is going to couples night. And he says, you know, couples have to smooch and stuff. And it's a romantic movie. So Finn thinks about taking uh, bubblegum with, or peoples. Um, and, uh, and he's trying to figure out how to woo her and stuff. And Jake's giving advice. And then Marceline comes in, starts giving advice. Through a friggin' hilarious reveal. That was great under the blanket and the, yeah. the split screen. That, that was great. That yeah. was so good. Um, and uh, and she's given more and more advice, and her interests do not match people's very much. <laughs> uh, you know, she likes to wrestle and, and run with wolves and stuff, and is showing Finn the game along really good. Uh, Bubblegum finally just tosses him out, says, You're nuts until you're not nuts, you can't come back to the kingdom. And Marceline is like, pretty much even yeah jory was saying it too like you know these two should be a couple what the hell and then they <laughs> they kind of do but it turns out that marceline you know just wants him to be a friend and nothing else and that's kind of what finn wants too he just wants to go to the couples thing because everyone else is going and this is what you're supposed to do and so they go as friends they see them kiss and they're like oh that's gross and they tear up the screen the uh uh, another great joke that nothing can tear us apart and he tears the screen. That's a great joke. I love that. <laughs> uh, and they run on wolves together and stuff. Okay, enough of that. These two should really be a couple. I I'm already working on my fan fiction right now and I don't know where this show goes, but they should be a freaking couple. It's like, I never even thought about it before, but then we see them like, you know, running with the wolves and everything. It's like, this totally makes sense because they're both totally insane and crave blood <laughs> for different reasons. And... Uh, I don't know. I was totally all over that, man. I was totally all over that. I thought it was cute. <laughs> <laughs> I want them to be a couple. I just, I don't know. It's like it, it never clicked. And then when you see them actually hanging out, it's like, oh, actually, this totally makes sense. Why is he going for peoples there or whatever? You know, it's like because they're like, okay, they're opposites, and that can obviously work too. But it's like, no, so much more fun can be had if uh, Marceline and him are a couple. It's like, and does it make sense that, you know, his girlfriend would be a vampire? It's like Finn, the awesome adventure guy. I mean, it's like Jake has the rain of corn thing that speaks Korean. It's like, why not a vampire for Finn? It just makes sense. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I like this idea. I, I really like this idea. I don't know. I, I obviously can't be like, hey, you people go you creators of the show go make that because it's already made but still it's like go make that even if it goes in a different direction or i don't know maybe it goes in a better direction i have no idea but it's like i don't know i i like that i'm sorry i i you know uh derailed fan, yeah you know did my fan fiction all right there uh i'm sorry you, you go ahead what you think yeah. But isn't it awesome, like, you know, when they're going, they're running with the wolves and everything, and, like, and she's acting crazy at first, he doesn't know what to do, and then, like, suddenly he gets more into it, and it's like, yay, and then he lets wolves into Bubblegum's place, and she's like, ah, and he's like, whoa, what's wrong, what's wrong, and it's like, it's just awesome, they, they, they should hook up. Chip. He is 13. How old is she? Oh, yeah, she's, like, a million. Um... She's okay, about, so there's she's a bit, about a thousand. Okay, so you know, she, she looks nine hundred and twenty. I'm not even talking. He's thirteen. Okay, but come on, couples still. That's young love. Come on, they can do that. I mean, not that kind yeah, of young you go, love. Yeah, you go to the schools nowadays and start saying thirteen-year-olds start dating. Go for them like ninety-eight years year olds. It's okay. Well, she's technically probably close to ninety-eight. That's what I'm saying. Oh. So okay. you want 98-year-olds and 13-year-olds to hook up? Not usually, but in this case, maybe. I don't know. It just feels right. I can't fight my urges to see a 13-year-old and a 1,000-year-old get together in beautiful harmony. That sounded really creepy, I'm realizing, but they, the show it, makes it work. I think it may kick you out of my house <laughs> and not allow you until you stop acting insane. <laughs> it's just, it, I don't know. She doesn't look a thousand. Actually, that, that is a good question, though. It's like, okay, they throw this really ancient number on her, but I mean, how, when she was bitten or whatever, because, right, she gets bitten and then she stays that age. Is that the idea? Yeah, pretty, pretty much. Okay. Uh, like, what age is she supposed to be? I assume, I like... Know. Like a, a 15 or something like that. Well, no, actually, I've had this question, and I will actually get back to the episode unlike him. <laughs> so, take a uh, Interview with a Vampire. Okay. The young girl is bitten, and she's like 12 or something yeah. like that. So, let's say 100 years past, she's technically 112. 
But no matter how you would look at her, she would always be that 12-year-old. So would she ever fully be able to fully mature into a woman? Well, I'm sure she... Yeah, okay, she can't really go through, like, the changes and stuff. I guess that's kind of true. You know. That's really messed up. Yeah. She'd be... Yeah, whatever. Okay, on with the episode. Two things I really, really liked. Um, pretty much any time Marceline comes on screen, uh, <clears throat> the bass sound gets really, really, like, loud. They bring out the bass. Obviously because she plays the bass, but I like the fact that you hear the doom, 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 doom. I think it's a nice little touch that, you know, it shows Marceline's yeah. here. Dun, 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 dun. So it's sort of like her theme. Yeah. And then the other part I really, really liked, and it was so fast, is when they're at the theater and they're watching, um, and they look at Raina Corn and Jake and they're making out. They're making out in, like, a truck that has a dead body there. I didn't even notice that. There's a skeleton that's, like, right behind them. Like, not even hidden or anything. It's, they're just like, mm, like, you're the skeleton. They're like, mm. I'm like, that's kind of dark. So, like, you know you know what it could be? Maybe they just, because you don't really see people drive in this world. Maybe they just found, like, that's probably in their apocalypse thing. They just found the drive-in and the people that were stuck there were just like, oh, hey, movie. <laughs> they just ran whatever movie was in there or one that they made. Um, no, I totally didn't notice that. Now, here's a question I, I, I would like to know your thoughts on, and even you people at home while watching this. So they're watching, and the old trailers, if you will, for movies have the, let's all go to the yeah. lobby, which are talking food. I was thinking that, too. Like, was this filmed recently, then? Or, like, in well, that world? Well, or? no, but, like, if they saw a movie, like an old movie... And they're watching that. Would they be like, "Oh my God, that could be my relative"? Yeah, that's what or I was you know, too. <laughs> I, I'm sort of thinking that too. Or they'd that be like, "That's weird. blasphemy." Well, I can't remember, the the characters talking and stuff. They were still like whatever weird candy people and stuff, right? Like in the movie, the ones that were kissing and stuff. I didn't think so. They looked kind of human. Were they? Hmm. I think so. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, what okay. was that, Jory? They were human. So they, they were, were human. human. Okay, all right. Because right before they had the whole popcorn and everything like briefly on the screen so. yeah yeah i'm kind of shocked they didn't well with that said that i'm almost shocked they didn't uh do some more like a throwaway line or something like that yeah. like you know it looks just like my uncle ah, that goes to the weird humans or whatever it's like and eh, maybe maybe it's too obvious i don't know but um no i, I like marceline and finn being a couple way too obvious i mean i don't know as long as i don't do like a love triangle thing with it like Oh, I don't want to go around. <laughs> you know, if it means more Marceline and Finn possibly getting together, but I know what they're going to do. They're going to have, like, you know, they're going to make it look like Finn and Marceline will get together. It's like, no, 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 that's not it. It has to be him and Bubblegum because that's what we set up, and she's the good girl and stuff. And, and that's no fun. I want to see the good girl not get the good guy for once. You know, I, I want to see, like, you know, just a couple that's like... So why do you watch Disney all the time? <sighs> That's, That's not exactly the part I what like. Disney is. Okay, well... Well... Yeah, that's what I thought. Not Beauty and the Beast. He was a jerk. Yeah, he was a jerk because he was like 12 when he was turned into this monster. Well, but there you go. It still still works. How? I'm sorry. If my daughter was at the door and someone's like, Please help me. I need something. And my daughter slammed the door in their face. Rock on, Bree. That could have been some <laughs> crazed killer. <laughs> Wow. Even if she was, like, a, a millionaire and they had, like, all these rooms that she could, like, you know, let open and have security watch. Twelve! Alone! At home! Crazy person outside! Was he supposed to be twelve? He was really, really young. Yeah, I guess, like, when you do, like, the actual math, he's, like, really young. I thought it was yeah. ten. I saw, really, Maybe it could be ten. That, that doesn't make that big a difference. Still a little ten. kid. They don't make him look like a little but kid But that's in the movie. my point! I'm okay. sorry, rock on, kid, for shutting the door on that crazy psycho's, like, face. How? Wait, wait, wait. If he was a how can he own a castle if he's only 12? Because it's Disney, and Disney is dumb. Okay, I don't think he was supposed to be 12. I think he was supposed to be grown up. I thought he was supposed to be, like, a grown guy. Or okay, whatever. and how many years was he the Beast? I don't know. You're the Disney person! I don't know. I don't know if they ever said it. They don't even say how long she's with him. It could be a winter. It could be a year. They don't know. It's crazy. Why are we on Beauty and the Beast? I don't know. It's yeah, terrible. This is episode. Let's talk about real romance with Marceline and Finn. That's going to work, or it should work. Make that work. God, there's probably so much fan fiction about that already. Isn't real there? romance. Me and my wife. See you later.
Yeah, that's just fake. Artificial. Ah! 